Syriza, when we meet them in Greece, always stress the importance of Italy coming in behind them. And the speaker is Andrea Pasuaro. Okay. Dear friends, I'm honored to be here today in representation of my party, Sinistra, Ecologia e Libertà. However, today I represent a wider network within the Italian community in the UK who feel a sense of solidarity towards the Greek people and who support the struggle of the Greek government of Alexis Tsipras to change European politics. European politics needs to change because the past five years has been very grim. If Angela Merkel had to write a manifesto a few years back, she would have started like this. A specter is hunting around Europe, the specter of austerity. Why I say this? Because austerity is an ideology. It's an ideology which says that the crisis of a broken financial system should be paid by ordinary people, by students, by workers, by unemployed who have nothing to do with finance. Austerity is the ideology which says that the stability of financial markets comes before the stability of our own societies. Austerity is that ideology which says that we should not uh, that we should do structural reform urgently. It's urgent to do structural reform, to count on our hospitals, on our schools, on our universities, but we can close an eyes for five years on the rich customers of each HSBC who didn't want to pay their taxes. And all the government of Europe joined this ideology. They all told us that austerity was the way to fix our economies. Well, it didn't. He didn't fix our economies, neither while he was mild, like here in the UK, where he worsened the living condition of all the people, no, where he was savage, like in Greece, where he destroyed a quarter of the national economy and generated a humanitarian crisis. This is why today we are here, not just in solidarity towards the Greek people, but in solidarity to all those who suffered because of austerity in Greece, in Italy, in Spain, in Portugal, everywhere in Europe. This is why today we should say that this is not a clash between Germany and Greece. It is a clash between the financial institutions which make profit out of money and the ordinary people who live out of their work. But we are here today also because Greek people have reminded us something. They have reminded us that there can be no Europe without solidarity. Yes. Solidarity among people and solidarity across states. Yes. Solidarity, freedom and democracy were the very values at the heart of the original idea of Europe. They were at the heart of the Manifesto di Ventotene written in a little island off the coast of Rome in the summer of 1941, while Europe was devastated by war and the anti-fascist Altiero Spinelli and Ernesto Rossi wrote their manifesto. This is why today is not just about ending austerity. It is about reclaiming Europe as a world of democracy and justice. I want to finish saying this. Yesterday in Rome, 50,000 people gathered together to support the Greek government and the Greek people. And I want to tell you this, Italy will join you guys. We will unite with you to overcome this austerity. We will defeat the ideology of austerity. We will reclaim democracy and justice. We will build a better Europe. Thank you.